All Dynamics 365 apps, like the Sales Hub, are created using model-driven apps. I'm going to show you how to make a new model-driven app using the classic app designer. So I'll start with going to make.powerapps.com. That's where you want to go to begin with. Once you're at make.powerapps.com, you could go to model-driven app from blank, but I would suggest picking a solution first. So I'm going to instead go to solutions and then pick the solution that you want. Now, if you don't have a solution, you can go ahead and make a solution here. I already have one called Demo Apps, so I'm going to select that. Within Demo Apps, currently there's nothing here, so I'll click on New, App, and then a Model-Driven App. A couple of different experiences here. This is the new experience, Modern App Designer. Here's the Classic App Designer. I'll choose the Classic App Designer here. Here I'm going to give it a name. As soon as I typed it in, it filled up the same unique name here too. Just calling it a test app for now. Icon, you can use a default image or uncheck this over here and then use one of these images provided. I'll go ahead and select one here. I'll simply go ahead and choose the away logo. Now here, nothing to do at this time. Click on done. It starts by giving me this canvas where I can work. I can choose the sitemap, dashboard, add entities, and so forth right here. We'll start by clicking on the sitemap. Opens up the sitemap. I'll go ahead and change the name of the area here, giving it a title. As soon as I typed it, it appears here as well. I'll go to new group and type something here as well. We'll make this group sales. Now I'll go into sub area. Here I need to select over here that it's going to be type entity. And this is where I would choose an existing entity. I'm going to search for and pick the lead entity. Now I need another sub area. So while I'm at the area, I'm going to say new sub area. I'll go ahead and pick the type entity as before. And for selecting an entity, I'll choose account. So I'm going to type it in. When that appears, I'll select it. Then I'll go ahead and click on Save to save everything. Now when everything is saved, I'm going to go ahead and publish it. It's publishing my sitemap. Once the publishing is completed, I can go back to App Designer. See over here, I have the Entities, Account, and Lead. If I go into, click on the account, for example, see if I have uh, all the forms and everything else generated. Here it is, all the forms. Then I go back and look at the views. All the views are here as well. Next step here is to validate it. There are a couple of warnings in this case. And the warnings happen because we used all the assets instead of individual assets. So I'm going to ignore them for right now. It was by design, so I'm not going to worry about it. And I'm going to go ahead and click on Publish. Once the publishing is successful, I can click on Play. It's showing me the app with my area and sub area right here sales leads accounts and because it's based on existing entities it actually brought over all the data as well but now it's all customized to my needs and that's how you create a model driven app using the classic app designer